so guns aren't all the same. It's true that they work similarly, but the main differences are in variables like craftsmanship, former owners, materials utilized, and so on. Each of these factors can dramatically affect a gun's value. A gun not owned or used by George Washington or Teddy Roosevelt is worthless. Some guns are more precise, rare, or specially built. They are rare or collectible. Collectors who know their guns and aren't afraid to spend a lot of money on them may already own one or two of these rare guns. If you're curious about the priciest guns, continue watching to learn more about each item on this carefully picked list. So, here are the 12 most expensive and famous firearms of all time. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 12. Beretta Imperiale Monte Carlo Shotgun, $106,800. Beretta is a well-known brand that is known for producing high-quality firearms. Most Beretta semi-auto and double-barreled pistols are well-known around the world, and Olympic champions utilize them in skeet and trap. But, what stands out is the Beretta Imperiale Monte Carlo Shotgun. It is elegant and strong. At $106,800, it's a top-of-the-line side-by-side. It's one of those rare pricey things that's worth its money because of its exceptional craftsmanship, amazing engraving, performance, and brand name. Number 11. Hitler's Golden Walther PP, $114,000. Definalty, it's an expensive gun ever. Reason, Hitler owned it once. The Walther family sent Adolf Hitler the golden gun for his 50th birthday in 1939. Ivory grip and a golden laid inscription showed it was gifted by the Walther family. The unusual custom manufactured double action, straight blowback pistol has Adolf Hitler's initials AH. The Walther family used this to thank Hitler for replacing the Luger P08 with the Walther P38 in his army. Hitler allegedly shot himself with this gun which he kept hidden in his desk drawer in Munich during the Allied attack. In the United States, the weapon changed hands multiple times before being auctioned for $114,000 by an American soldier. This was the highest sum ever paid for a firearm. The present owner is unknown, but if put up for sale again, the Führer's golden gun might fetch millions. Number 10. Wyatt Earp's Colt .45 Revolver, $225,000. Wyatt Earp's Colt .45 pistol has a history and maybe value. Wyatt Earp was the most renowned outlaw ever. In the 1880s, he was deputy sheriff in Tombstone, Arizona. If you know the narrative, you know there was no marshal like Wyatt Earp. He was well-versed in gambling, gold mining, brothels, boxing, barbershops, and saloons. Earl was, of course, involved in the O.K. Corral gunfight. In the firefight, Earp and three other lawmen murdered three criminals in 30 seconds using this Colt .45 pistol. Some say Earp used a .44 Smith & Wesson, not this gun, in the shootout. Regardless, the Colt .45 revolver sold for $225,000 at an auction. It was sold in 2014 to an unknown Mexico collector. Number 9. Holland & Holland Royal Deluxe Double Rifle $228,000. It's not surprising that the British royal family prefers a Holland and Holland Royal Deluxe Double Rifle. The brand proudly boasts of the 850 hours spent handcrafting this piece. The rifle's appearance and performance make it plausible. Holland and Holland's clientele includes many of the world's elite due to their exceptional craftsmanship and meticulous approach. This gun is a .375 hand H belted double rifle with a 24-inch barrel and detachable mount sights zeroed at 100 yards. The engraving on the weapon does more than just look good. The London Gun Room has it for $228,000. With this gun, you are the center of attention. Number 8. Smith & Wesson .44, owned by Robert Ford, $350,000. This Smith & Wesson .44 was used to kill Jesse James. Owned by Robert Ford, the gun was sold at $350,000 to a gun collector in 2003. Jesse James was a prominent American bandit who led a deadly gang in the mid-1800s. They looted stagecoaches, trains, and over 20 banks, as well as pillaged. He became a legend, hard to find. 
James and his crew got arrogant and irresponsible. They kept making grave errors. Ford and his brother Charlie, both part of James' gang, planned to kill him for months. To dust a picture frame, Robert Ford, commonly known as the Coward Robert Ford, shot an unarmed James on April 3, 1882. The brothers planned to collect the government's bounty on James' head. Charlie said in court that Robert utilized the now famous Smith and Wesson handgun because it could be concealed or removed quickly. Unknown collector recently paid $350,000 for this rifle. This revolver has a terrible history and would be a great addition to any collection. Number 7. Custom-made Fox Gun Company double-barreled shotgun owned by Theodore Roosevelt, $862,850. President Theodore Roosevelt liked to be called a hunter and a rough rider. The president was believed to have done practically everything a man should do. The Fox Gun Company built Teddy Roosevelt this double-barreled shotgun. No greater rifle was ever made, he wrote in his thank you letter to the firm. The shotgun became the president's regular companion due to its origin, a Smithsonian African expedition in 1909. The mission lasted a year, beginning the month he left the White House. The Roosevelt family sold the double-barreled 12-gauge shotgun in 1974. In 2000, it was auctioned again, and in 2010, an unknown collector paid $862,850 for the historical artifact. As with a Beretta Silver Pigeon one, the shotgun is easily disassembled. Number 6. 1847 Colt Walker .44 Black Powder Revolver, $920,000. We believe that only 170 of the original 1,100 Walker guns remain. This Colt Walker was issued to Texas Ranger Sam Wilson in 1847. It was made for an elite task squad that helped keep order in that area. This Colt Walker black powder revolver can fire a .44 caliber round ball or a 220 grain bullet. It was a very useful piece. Unlike many others remaining in existence, this 1847 Colt Walker is in mint condition. It was rust-free and came with the black powder flask that Texas Ranger Sam Wilson received with the revolver. The previous owner increased the value of the 1847 Colt Walker's .44 black powder revolver, which sold for $920,000 to an anonymous collector in 2008. Number 5. Colt Patterson Revolver, $977,500. Why was the repeating firearm invented? Samuel Colt patented the Colt Patterson revolver in 1836. This handgun was the first to use a spinning cylinder to fire numerous shots. This pistol paved the way for modern revolvers. It was made in Patterson, New Jersey, hence the name. This Colt Patterson revolver is the oldest surviving Patterson in immaculate condition. With its dynamic historical significance and limited production, it's no surprise this Colt Patterson revolver sold for $977,500. Number 4. Golden Laid Colt Model 1849 Pocket Revolver, $1.1 million. The Golden Laid Colt Model 1849 Pocket Revolver, like everything else in recent years, is an upgrade from the Colt Patterson revolver. This gun has been simplified to make it easier to carry. It also demonstrates how repeating pistol technology advanced between 1936 and 1849. During that time, the new Model 1849 pocket revolver was one of the most popular models. It was regarded as dependable and generally available. This particular model stands out because to its striking design and gold inlay. This displayed excellent quality, earning the 1849 item a $1.1 million auction sale price. Number 3. 1886 Winchester Rifle Owned by Henry Ware Lawton, $1.26 million. Major General Henry Ware Lawton became famous after capturing Apache Commander Geronimo, and he was presented with this Winchester rifle to commemorate his successful military operation during the Apache Wars. The rifle's serial number was 1, making it unique and identifiable. An engraving shows the rifle's status as a gift from a Medal of Honor recipient, Lt. George E. Albee, to the Major General in its blue, case-hardened finish. 
The Winchester rifle, which was sold for $1.26 million, had a 26-inch octagonal barrel and a full-length magazine. It's steep, but based on this list, it's well worth it for an extremely rare gun. Number 2. Simon Bolivar's pair of flintlock pistols, $1.76 million. The famed liberator of South America from Spanish colonial authority was Simon Bolivar. He had this pair of flintlock handguns, which the Marquis de Lafayette had given him. During the Revolutionary War, the Marquis de Lafayette served alongside George Washington, and the flintlock pistols were designed by Nicolas Noel Botet, a famous French gunsmith. Many people already knew him as the gunsmith to Napoleon Bonaparte. The silver-mounted flintlock dueling pistols were auctioned for $1.76 million in 2004 at Christie's of New York. Even though Simon Bolivar had a large collection of weaponry, the flintlock handgun stood out as one of the best. Number 1. George Washington's pair of saddle pistols, $1.98 million. It appears that the Marquis de Lafayette had a practice of giving prominent men amazing weaponry. George Washington received the famed saddle pistols from his French friend, the Marquis de Lafayette. The pistols had intricate Rococo carvings and gold inlays. These handguns were used by Washington during the Revolutionary War, and they were eventually passed down to President Andrew Jackson, who regarded them as sacred and holy relics. They were sold at Christie's in 2002 for $1.98 million to the Richard King Mellon Foundation, who then gave them to the Fort Ligonier Historic Site and Museum. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.